I mean, I can remember having a master class with him here at Television Center on the Opportunity Knox night. And um, he, he was just dressed in his, his boxer shorts, as, as I recall, and we went into the dressing room and there was the cup of wine. He said, now, he said, Simon, I'm, I'm just trying to think how I'd tell these jokes. He said, bear with me. I'm a comedian, by the way. <laughs> I hate having to explain this, but sometimes you do. And when you tell people this, they always respond in the same way. They say, you're a comedian, tell me a joke. He would have something like a different ways of punctuating the, 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 the punchline. So there'd be a, a twitch of a cuff. That was quite common to, to have that kind of thing. The hand would be there and it'd be... Or you'd have a gulp <laughs> or a sniff. But it was so incredibly necessary to get, get the joke right. You're a politician, tell me a lie. <laughs> You're a gynecologist, take a look at the wife. They don't do this in any other profession. I think he became a vintage mix a vintage champagne in his sort of mid, mid to late 60s, where all that experience, that breadth of experience from a 21-year-old radio star, television, cabaret, you name it, it kind of distilled into this, this absolute wonderful, wonderful product. <laughs>